We can go to the German capital, Berlin, and speak to Hajo Funke, who is a former professor of political science at the Free University of Berlin. Professor, welcome to the program. Do people Hello. follow their leaders or do leaders follow the people? Both ways. The leaders are important. They are ideologized. Uh, they have a worldview of an authoritarian republic, uh, like as Orman, you just uh, showed him. Uh, so it's both ways. Well, you mentioned Viktor Orban. Of course, we had to feature him in that report. You can't examine the far right in Europe without looking at Viktor Orban. The most recent thing that he said, which shows his opinion of those who are not of his belief, was at a conference outside of Hungary where he talked about not wanting a mixed race in his country. And this follows from other statements in which he has said that Islam right. and Muslims dilute Christian values, yeah. but to talk about letting other countries become mixed and therefore not European, but not wanting that for his own country, Hungary. I mean, he's playing yeah. to a very, very particular audience there, but it seems to be working for him. As far as I understand, Viktor Orban, when he first came into politics, appeared to be quite a reasonable man. It seems, but he was racist uh, since 10 years. He was, he did anti-Semitic uh, talkings. So he's a clear-cut right-wingish authoritarian type of political uh, person. And he raises, uh, you know, instincts and scapegoating uh, attitudes, especially in Hungary. But as you showed, it's all over in Europe, but you have to uh, differentiate. For example, in Germany, these are just the AFD, these are just 10 to 12 percent, and they are, they are banned by not being more. So they are under control. Different to Italy, where we may have in the next election a clear cut right wingish, racist, anti migrant, anti Turkish, anti Islamic worldview at on the level of a government, so in the executive. And this is a very dangerous in, uh, development. But uh, you these, mentioned Germany but, and you but, say... But the, are sorry. Very different the countries. Yeah, sorry. Um, you say that Germany, the far right, is under control, but hasn't an official investigation found that actually the far right has infiltrated lots of uh, establishments like the police and security forces? And that's, of course, highly dangerous. This is dangerous. I said it also in other um, situations, uh, but this is also limited. Uh, the uh, I know the uh, the services, the security services in uh, Germany very well, and they are up to control that. There is really no danger for democracy, but there is a danger that these people, these fringe and uh, fringe on the fringe side people are. Uh, violent and can do harm. How does one go about countering far-right leaders? If prime ministers Counter and presidents have the power to influence their people more than anybody right. else because of the seniority of their position, in those yes. countries, how does one go about redressing the balance to bring people away from the extremities of politics, whether that's far left or far right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by good politics, by social politics, by taking care of the frustrated people, of the unsecureness they feel in this uh, multifaceted crisis, the Ukraine uh, war, the inflation thing. The, the government has to have the capacity to control, to be trustworthy in what he is doing socially, politically, democratically. Professor Hayo Funke, thank you very much indeed. It was brief but very important analysis. Thank you.